Hey, Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what's in store for your November 2024 money and career life? We'll talk the astrology, dive in with the tarot, and find out. So keep watching. So Libra, welcome to the channel or welcome back. So great to see you here. So Libra, my apologies that this video is getting out a little later to you than normal. My father passed away in the middle of October and I just needed a little time to regroup from that. But I am back. I am on my regular filming schedule once again. So I'm back. So let's discuss some astrology that may be particularly important for you Libras in the month ahead. Uh, let's talk about the planet that rules your money, Venus. Venus is in Sagittarius, which is your third house of communications and contracts and marketing and sales until November 11th, as is Mercury. Mercury will be in Sagittarius all month. It will go retrograde on the 26th. So keep that in mind. We will do a separate Mercury retrograde video coming up to the channel shortly. So your third house of those areas I mentioned before is very energized. You could make some sort of important contract, contract, sale, negotiation, especially in the first two weeks of uh november venus goes into capricorn your fourth house of financial stability and home and family on the 11th so there could be a refocusing of money energies into home improvement buying things for your home refinancing doing certain things uh, you know with your finances in regards to the home home improvements buying things etc now, Pluto is going to get out of that fourth house finally. He's been in there since 2008. He will get out of there on November 19th. Stay tuned for the farewell to Pluto party that we will be having here live on the channel. Um, so you are wrapping up a long cycle of life-changing events relating to home and family and whatnot. There may be some interesting, as I said, uh, scenarios going on, particularly from November 11th through the 19th as we wrap up this Pluto and Capricorn transit and we have Venus in Capricorn. So, you know, there could be a karmic payback or a karmic resolution regarding money and family finances for you, especially between the no November 11th and the 19th. On November 15th, Saturn will finally be going direct in Pisces. This is your sixth house of work and well-being. So yes, you may See, finally, there is a clear up in work related and or health and well-being related matters as Saturn goes direct. There may be new commitments and resolutions. Again, this may have something to do also with your fourth house of financial stability because Saturn rules Capricorn. So again, November 11th through the 19th could be an especially important time to pay attention to Libra. We also have a full moon in Taurus on November 15th. I will do a separate video for that for all the signs. Uh, but for you, Taurus is your eighth house of other people's money. And the full moon is occurring on the same day that Saturn goes direct in that sixth house of work and well-being. So, and to me, other people's money is also the people who pay you <laughs> from employment. But eighth house matters in terms of money can be refinancing, renegotiations, uh, insurance, inheritances, mortgages, debts, all of those types of things. So there could be something significant occurring for you in the middle of the month. It All of the energy is coming to a head, maybe in terms of you being able to pay something off. Maybe you're contemplating changing jobs in some way. So you're making more money so that you can get yourself to be debt free. There could be things like that going on. The South Node is still in your sign until the middle of January 2025. So you're still in the mode of wrapping up karmic obligations. And karmic obligations can include such things as debt. So you may be especially focused on all of that in the month ahead. And making pro positive changes for yourself. All right, Libras, let's get a money message for you for the month of November. Let's see what you need to know. Libras. 
Libra money message. Libras. All right, let's see what we have for you. Libras. Oh, we have the world. And we have the chariot. Very nice. Eight of wands in your heart. Six of wands. Look at this. And the knight of swords. Okay. So in terms of your money life, there is momentum on your side. You are coming to some sort of crossroads about different possibilities for your life in terms of your money. Um, you do want to be more in charge of your finances with the six of wands here and also with the chariot. Your third house is being activated this month, Sagittarius, with Venus and Mercury. That is the house of transportation also. So some of you are really in need of a new vehicle. Now, new can be used, but, you know, new to you vehicle. Uh, because your old one is really is, is on its last legs with the world card here. So some of you may be making some sort of decision very quickly to manifest a new ride. So that could be top of mind in terms of your money life this month. Um, but Eight of Wands is also about options. So you are looking for different possibilities and options for um, up-leveling your finances. Um, we have the 10th house of career showing up here with the chariot for you. This is the cancer energy. Both the uh, chariot and the six of wands are energies of promotion, energies of standing out. The world is an excellent card of success as well, but it also is one cycle wrapping up so another can begin. Some of you are, are seriously contemplating some sort of job or career change, I think, in order to make more money and maybe pay for the car that you need. Um, so we'll pull some cards for your career, but I feel like you are on the threshold of empowering yourself also perhaps when it comes to finances. So if you've kind of been not that interested in finances, not everybody is, everybody I think needs to be because you need money and you gotta know how to manage your funds in order to make the most of whatever you have. Um, so you may also be taking a more proactive approach to learning the world of finances. We do have the Taurus energy here, especially big money, investments. So you may be making some decisions to see what your options are in terms of investments that will move your money forward in positive ways, your money growth, your assets forward in positive ways. And you may be making some interesting, fast moving decisions on that with the Knight of Swords that is showing up here and perhaps using the internet to do your investments because of the swords that are showing up. Signing a contract perhaps with a financial advisor would also be indicated with this, but you're gonna shop around to find the right person. And I would say too, like really do your due diligence. Somebody who's, uh, what shall I say, like a five-star financial advisor, it doesn't mean they're, they're always the best. Really do your due diligence in, in terms of who you choose to help advise you with what you want to do with your money um, in the month ahead. Because we do have this eighth house is showing up for you. You have that full moon in your eighth house in the middle of the month. We have the, the eighth house showing up here with this Taurus. We have the number eight in your heart also, the Leo. We have a career, especially if you get a raise at your job or you're making more money with your business. You know, what are you going to do with that? Money needs to know where it's supposed to go. You want your money to work for you. So you're really, really inspired and empowered with this eight of wands in your heart to figure out your options for your finances and making more money for yourself, including passive income. Because the eighth house is also connected with investments. So some of you may be making a decision if you need a vehicle and you have investments, this is not financial advice, talk to your financial advisor, but some of you may be deciding, I got to pull from my 401k so I can buy the vehicle that I need. Some of you may be deciding that also, but do your due diligence and see if that's really a correct decision for you. Okay, but that is a possibility with those energies also. And the emphasis on your third house of transportation with the astrology. All right, let's see. 
What else we have going on for you? Now, this deck is interesting. It's kind of a hybrid career money deck, Libra. So let us see. I like one to stick decisively in my hand. Okay, there we go. We have opening. Bloom where you're planted. Okay, beautiful. Use your gifts, nurturing, spirit work, and plan is unfolding. Okay. So this is interesting. Use your gifts. Pluto is going into your fifth house of your personal gifts, which is your creative energy and talents, uh, as of November 19th, 20th. So you want to get ahead? You want to start your career more in, in the creative arts or just whatever you do that lights up your creative heart space and you want to make a business out of it? There could be an opening for you to do so, especially this month as Pluto stations direct in that fifth house for you. So interesting. All right, let's see. Let's see. There could be a new job opening on the horizon for you. There is a plan unfolding there. You know, all these cards are metaphors for me. So an opening could be a job opening could be. It says bloom where you're planted. So if you've already you're already planted at a job you like, maybe the opening is in another department or it is a promotion or something like that. You had energies of promotion in the money reading with the chariot and the six of wands. So let's see. Let's pull for your career. Let's just shuffle these like this for a second. Libras. Sag energy, temperance, and more Leo. Four swords in your heart. You really, this is classic Libra. There you are with your head on your, your forehead. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I love you guys. Come on. Seven of coins and the knight of cups. Okay. I think you're going to say yes to an opportunity. I really do. But you're going to weigh it carefully. You need time to think about this. But I think it's it's divinely aligned for you with this Sag energy. It's going to bring up very positive change uh, to your 11th house of personal gains. You're going to gain from it. I also think that, you know, gain financially from it. I also think that you are going to be with a different group of people. That's going to be bring a positive impact to you. Uh, your world, we had that world card before also with the chariot. Your world may be in, in a career sense with uh, just just a better atmosphere with the temperance card here, um, because temperance is about balance. Your sign is about balance. So there may be a better balance in terms of people respecting work life balance and you respecting your own work life balance with some sort of new opportunity, some sort of opening that may be occurring for you. So a change is going to do your heart good. This temperance with the strength, the strength card. You have the four swords in your heart. So you do need a, a few days, like up to four days. And the swords is your energy to really just sit with this energy. I think you've gotten used to something that is the status quo. The status quo is changing for you this month with your money and your career. You've gotten used to something being just, you know, it's not happening. And I think something is shifting for you, but your heart has to be willing. You know, you got to kind of wrap your head around it. That's this four of swords. Um, and then we have the seven of coins. Like, is this worth it? You're going to decide, I think it is worth it with this knight of cups. I think you are going to say yes to something that is offered to you. There may be an important meeting and discussion about what it is. Um, I think it's whatever conversations and negotiations that you have this month with your money and career is going to be very favorable with this Knight of Cups showing up here. I think a change is going to do you good. Getting back out there and as I said, getting getting aligned with a group of people or an environment that is just more congenial, balanced, nice, nice. We know you like nice. It's going to be nice for you. Did you ever see my Libra song? It's a Libra world that the video that I posted for y'all check it out. I'll leave a link to it in the description if I remember, but it's on the channel. I've been doing some songs um, inspired by astrology and tarot and stuff like that, but I did a whole Libra song and you know, that's the refrain in the song. You better be nice. You better think twice. That's the whole Libra aesthetic, right? Is things to be congenial. 
And I think you could be moving into a situation, a position, an atmosphere that is more aligned with your energy and that's going to make you a lot happier um, because this is this is your 11th house of other people and connections as well so and you're going to gain from it personally if you've been you know just kind of seven of coins feeling like things have reached sort of a plateau with your finances in your current career whatever this changes it's going to help you up level and get out of some sort of you know plateau with your bank account. So Libras, leave me a comment. Let me know how you plan to use these energies in the month of November for your highest good, because that's what it's all about, using the energies, not letting them use you. I would love to hear. And if you feel so inclined to leave a thumbs up or share the video out with other lovely Libras, that would be very much appreciated. It helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the video and push it out to more people. So thank you so much if you decide to do that. Make sure you're around for our live uh, Pluto Be Gone from Capricorn party, which will be happening on November 19th live here on the channel. I would love to see you there and we can share all of our war stories, so to speak, with the Aquarians and let them know what they're in for. And also the Scorpios, the Tauruses and the Leos, right? Because they're going to be in the crosshairs of Pluto's energies and we the cardinal signs, Libra, Capricorn, Aries, and Cancer, have been very familiar with that energy since 2008. So we have a lot of wisdom and experience we can share with those signs. So hope to see you there, Libra. Love you guys. Take care. Have a great month. More videos coming soon. See you again soon. Stella Wilde, signing out.